Uh, welcome back to theCUBE as we continue our coverage here of AWS reInvent 2022. Going on here at the Venetian in Las Vegas. Tens of thousands of attendees. That exhibit hall is full, let me tell you. It's uh, been something else. Well, here in the Executive Summit, sponsored by Accenture, uh, Accenture rather, we're going to talk about Baptist Health and what's going on with that organization down in South Florida. With me uh, to do that, I have Tony Ambrosi, who's the SVP and Chief Digital and Information Officer. I have Ashley Lane, the Managing Director of the Accenture Healthcare Practice. And on the far end, Deepu Kumar, who is the VP and CTO of Baptist Health South Florida. One and all, welcome. Nice well, to have thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, first off, let's just talk about Baptist Health. Mm -hmm. um, the size of your footprint, one and a half million patient visits a year, not a small number. That was probably last year's number. But yeah, yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, but not a small number. Not so a talk small about number. your footprint. Um, and, and what, I guess, the, the client base basically that you guys are serving in IT. Uh, absolutely, so we're um, uh, the largest uh, uh, organization in South Florida, uh, system provider, and uh, 11 hospitals, soon to be 12, as you said, uh, it's probably about 1.8 million by now people mm -hmm. um, we're, we're, we're supporting, uh, a lot of uh, uh, other uh, Units um, and you know we're focusing on the four um, southern uh, counties of South Florida. Okay, so you got Dade, mm -hmm. uh, Broward, Broward, yep, uh, down that way. Got yeah. it. Um, so now let's get to your migration or your cloud transformation, as we're talking about a lot this week. Um, um, what's been your, I guess, overarching goal? You know, as, as you work with Accenture and, and developed a, a game plan going forward. You know, what was on the front end of that? What was the motivation to say, this is the direction we're going to go, and this is how we're going to get there? Perfect, so um, Baptist started a um, digital transformation uh, initiative before I came, about three years ago. Uh, the board, the executive steering committee, decided that this is going to be very important uh, for us to support us to um, uh, help our patients and, and consumers. Um, so I was brought in for that digital transformation. And by the way, digital transformation is kind of an umbrella. Mm -hmm. It's really business transformation with technology, di digital technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's basically where we started in terms of uh, consumer focus and, and, and patient focus. Um, and digital is a big word that really encompasses a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, cloud is one, of, of course, um, and um, you know AI and ML and all the things that we're here for uh, this this event. Um, you know, and and uh, we've started the, that journey about two years ago. Um, and um, obviously, cloud is very important. AWS is our uh, main uh, cloud provider, um, and clearly. In AWS or any cloud providers is not just the infrastructure they're providing, it's mm -hmm. the whole ecosystem mm -hmm. that provides us back value into, um, into our transformation. And then um, somebody, I think Adam this morning at the keynote said, this is a team sport. Okay. <laughs> so with this big transformation, we need all the help and uh, that we can get to minds and, and, and uh, hands and that's where um, Accenture has been invaluable over the last two years. Yeah. So, so as a team sport then, Deepu, uh, you, you, you've got uh, external stakeholders, obviously we're talking about patients, right? Internal, right, you've, you've got a whole s different set of constituents there basically, but it takes that team, right? You all have to work together. What kind of conversations or what kind of actions, I guess, have you had with different departments and with different uh, uh, sectors of, of the healthcare business as Baptist Health sees it, in order to bring them along too, because this is you know kind of a shocking turn for them too, right, and how they're going to be doing business. Um, mostly from an end user perspective, this is something that they don't care much about, where the infrastructure is hosted or how the services are provided. From that perspective, as long as the capabilities function in a better way, they um, are seemingly not worried about where the hosting is. So what we focus on is in terms of how it's going to be a better experience for from them, from, from their perspective. Mm -hmm. right? um, how is it going to be better responsiveness, availability, or um, stability overall? 
So that's been the mode of communication from that perspective. Other than that, from a from a hosting and service perspective, it, the clientele doesn't care as much as the infrastructure or the security or the the technology and digital teams themselves. But you know, some of us are resistant to change, right? We're, we're just, we are old dogs, we don't like new tricks, and, and change can be a little daunting sometimes. So even though it is about my ease of use and my efficiency and what I can then save my time on so and so forth, if I'm used to doing something a certain way, and that's worked fine for me, and here comes Tony and Deepu, and here comes Accenture. <laughs> the, the troublemakers, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're stirring my pot. Yeah. So, so how do you, the work, if you were giving advice maybe to somebody watching this, and say, okay, you've got internal, I wouldn't say battles, but discussions to be held. Um, how did you navigate through that? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and Baptist has been a very well-run system, very successful for 60-something odd years. Uh, clearly, uh, that conversation did come, why should we change? Um, but you always start with, this is what we think is going to happen in the future. These are the changes that very likely will happen in the future. One is the consumer exper ex uh, expectations, mm -hmm. are the consumer expectations in terms of their ability to have access to information, get access mm -hmm. to care be in control of the process and their, their uh, health uh, uh, and well-being, uh, everything else that happens in the market. And so you start with, the, with that. Mm -hmm. and that's where uh, clearly there are, uh, there are a lot of signs that point to quite a lot of change in the ecosystem. And therefore from there, uh, the conversation is how do we now meet that um, um, uh, challenge, so to speak, that we all face in, 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 in healthcare. And then from there, you kind of uh, design the, a vision of where we want to be mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of that digital transformation mm -hmm. and how do we get there. Uh, and then once that is well explained and evangelized, and that's part of our jobs, uh, with the help of yep. uh, mm -hmm. our colleagues who have, have been doing this uh, with others, um, then is the, what I call a uh, tell and show. We're going to say, okay, in this, in this road, we're going to start with this. It's a small thing, mm -hmm. and we're going to show you how it works in terms of, um, in terms of the, uh, the process. Right. And then as, as you go along and, and you deliver some things, uh, people understand more. They're on board more, mm -hmm. and they're ready for, for more. So it's iterative from small to larger. The proof is always in the pudding, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, right? If you can show somebody. Yeah, yeah. So Ashley, um, I, I, I obviously we know about Accenture's role, uh, but in terms of I mean, almost almost what Tony was just saying, that you have to show people that it works. How how do you interface with a client? And when you're talking about these new approaches and you're suggesting changes and, and making these maybe rather dramatic proposals, you know, to how they do things internally, um, from Accenture's perspective. How do you make it happen? How, how do you bring the client along? In this case, batch is out. Well, in, in this case, with the Tony and Deepu, I mean, they have been on this journey already at another client, right? So they came to Baptist where they had done a similar journey previously, and so it wasn't really about convincing. Also with Accenture's help. Also with Accenture's help, okay. correct. But it wasn't about telling Tony and Deepu how do we do this or anything like that, because they were by far the experts and have you know, the experience behind it. It was really like, how do we make sure that we're providing the right team, the right skills um, to match you know, what they wanted to do and their aspirations. So we had brought the, the healthcare knowledge along with the AWS knowledge and the architects. And you know, we said, that we gotta, you know, let's look at the roadmap and let's mm -hmm. make sure that we have the right team and moving at the right pace and you know, testing everything out and working with all the different vendors. In the provider world, um, specifically, there's a lot of different vendors and applications that are you know that are provided to them. It's not like a lot of custom activity and um, you know applications or anything like that. So it was a lot of you know working with other third party that we really had to align with them and with Baptist to make sure that you know we were moving together at speed. Yeah, we've heard about transformation quite a bit, Tony. You brought it up a little bit ago. Um, Deepu, just if you had to define transformation in this case, I mean. How big of a of a of a change is that? I mean, how how would you describe it 
when you say we're going to transform our, you know, our healthcare business. I mean, I think there are a lot of things that come to my mind, but, but how do you define it? And, and when, you're, when you're talking to the folks with whom you've got to bring along on this journey. So there's, the transformation umbrella encompasses two or three things. As Tony said, there is this big digital transformation that everybody is talking about. Then there is this technology transformation that powers the digital transformation and business transformation that's the outcome of the digital transformation. So um, I think we, we started focusing on all three areas um, to get the right digital experience for the consumers. We have to transform the way we operate. Um, healthcare in its um, current state or, or in the existing state, it's a lot of manual processes, a lot of antiquated processes, so to speak. So we had to go and reassess some of that and work with the respective business stakeholders to um, streamline those. Because in, it's, it's not about putting a digital solution out there with the antiquated processes, because the outcome is not what you expect mm -hmm. when, when you do that. So from that perspective, it has been a heavy lifting um, in terms of how we transform the operations or the processes that facilitates um, some of the outcomes. How do you know it's working? Uh, well, so I, I, to add to what Deep was saying is, <clears throat> I think we are uh, fortunate uh, in that you know, there are a lot of folks inside Baptist who have been wanting this, mm -hmm. and yep. they're instrumental to this, so this is not a two-man plus yep. A, yep. You know, um, mm -hmm. a show, is really, um, a, you know, a, a, a team sport, again, yeah, right. that, that same, so in, in that, that um, in terms of how do we know it works, um, well, when, when we define what we want to do, there is some level of precision uh, along the way. In those iterations, what is it that we want to do next, mm -hmm. right? So whatever we introduce, let's say a, a, a proper a fluid check-in for a patient into a, for an appointment, we measure that. Mm -hmm. And then we measure the next one. And then we kind of zoom out and we look at the, the journey and say, is this better? Is this better for the consumer? Do they like it better? And we measure that. Mm -hmm. And is it better for the operations? Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of, but this is the interesting thing is, um, it's always a balance of how much you can change. We want to improve the consumer experience, but as Deepu said, there's a lot to, to be changed mm -hmm. in, in the operations, how much you do at the same time. Um, and that's where we have to do uh, the prioritization. Uh, but you know, um, the, the interesting thing is that a lot of times, especially on the self-servicing for consumers, mm -hmm. there are a lot of benefits for the operations mm -hmm. as well. And mm -hmm. that's that's where we're in we're in it together, and we measure. Yeah, don't give me too much control, though. I don't. <laughs> I'm going to leave the hard lifting for you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. All right, thank you. Yeah. 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 So, and, and just real quick, Ashley, maybe you can shine some light on this about the relationship, about mm -hmm. about next steps, about you know you, you're, you're on this this path and things are going well, and and you've got expansion plans. You want to, you know, bring in other services, other systems. Um, where do you want to take them uh, in the big picture, in terms of capabilities? Well, I, I mean, they've been doing a fantastic job just being one of the first to actually say, hey, we're going to go and make an investment in the cloud and digital transformation. And so it's really looking at, like, what are the next problems that we need to solve, whether it's patient care diagnosis or how we're doing research or, you know, the next kind of realm of, of how we're going to use data and to improve patient care. So I think it's, you know, we're getting the foundation and the basics and everything kind of laid out right now and then it's really it's like what's the next thing and how can we really improve the patient care and the access that they have. Well it sure sounds like you have a winning combination so I, I keep the team together. Ab absolutely. Teamwork makes the dream work. Ab ab absolutely. absolutely. As you know. <laughs> so there's a certain amount of <clears throat> if you look at the healthcare industry as a whole it's not, not just uh, Baptist. Baptist is you know for, th for thinking but um, entire industry there's a lot of catching up to do mm -hmm. compared to whatever else is doing, whatever else the consumers are expecting of, yeah. of an entity, right? But then once we catch up, uh, there's a lot of um, other things that we were going to have to move on, sure. innovate for, for problems that we maybe we don't know we have, or we will have right now. So plenty of work to do. 
I, which is job security for everybody, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Listen, thanks for sharing the story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, continued success. I wish you that, and uh, I appreciate the time and expertise here today. Right. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for being with us. And thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Thanks, All right, we'll be back with more. You're watching The Cube here. It's the Executive Summit, sponsored by Accenture, and The Cube, as I love to remind you, is the leader in tech coverage.